Latest on Bollywood con scandal, Bollywood actor Jacqueline Fernandez has skipped the fourth ED summon in the 200 crore rupees extortion case involving conman Sukesh Chandrasekhar. Jacqueline has learned to have informed probe agency that she is not going to be able to appear today. She cited professional commitments while skipping earlier summons too. The agency, according to sources, is probing if there was any financial transaction between conman Sukesh Chandrasekhar and actors Jacqueline and Nora Fatehi. Earlier, the ED had recorded Jacqueline's statement on August 30th, during which she reportedly told the investigators that she was also a victim of Sukesh and denied any wrongdoing. ED also questioned Nora in the connection with the case on Thursday. Conman Sukesh Chandrasekhar is launched in Delhi jail as an under trial, has been accused of extorting 200 crore rupees from a businessman's wife over a period of one year. He also faces 220, I beg your pardon, other cases of extortion and is accused of operating the racket from inside his jail cell. Manish Pandey now joins us live for the very latest. Manish, walk our viewers through the allegations against... Uh, Nora Fatehi and Jacqueline Fernandez and why is Jacqueline Fernandez skipped the fourth summons by the enforcement directorate? If she's summoned, shouldn't she appear? And also explain to us how is Sukesh Chandrasekhar operating this entire uh, nexus from inside the jail cell? Jabal Chati, as far as this entire case is concerned, remember Sukesh Chandrasekhar, a con man, he was lodged in Delhi's jail and while he was lodged in uh, the jail, he started making spoof calls to the wife of uh, a Delhi-based businessman and he extorted more than 200 crore rupees from May 2022 to June 2021. So this is the entire scam. Now he is in custody of Enforcement Directorate. Now when Enforcement Directorate was investigating the money trail in this case, they got to know that it has some connection with Bollywood actor Jacqueline Fernandez. When they started investigating, they got to know about the other name, Bollywood actor uh, Noura Fatehi, and both at this point of time, they are under scanner of enforcement directed. Now, what ED believes is that there was some connection between Sukesh Chandrasekhar and Jacqueline Fernandez, but whether uh, there was any association as far as the proceeds of crime is concerned or not, that is still to be investigated. And that is why she had been called for at least five times six uh, since August, uh, uh, 30th. On August 30th, she appeared before the agency, but since then, once in September and three times in last four days, she has skipped the summons. Now, ED claims that they want to investigate uh, Jacqueline Fernandez. They want to question her, but she has not appeared. As far as Nora Fatehi's role is concerned, she uh, she was invited by Sukesh Chandrasekhar's wife, Lena Maria Paul, in an event where she appeared and apparently she was gifted um, expensive gifts worth more than a crore rupees. So ED is also investigating that whether that gift was given using the proceeds of crime in this case. And you can say in layman language, uh, extorted money was used to give her gifts or not. That is what is being probed. So trouble seems to be mind mounting for uh, Jacqueline Fernandez. She has skipped summons for four times. Now it has to be seen that when the next summons will be issued and whether Jacqueline Fernandez will appear or not. Check. All right. Thanks, uh, Manish, for joining us with the latest details right there. Moving on now. Now, let's walk you through the entire money laundering case involving conman Sukesh Chandrasekhar. At the center of this entire controversy is Sukesh Chandrasekhar. He's a conman. He's, he's arrested currently in Delhi jail over charges of extorting 200 crore rupees from a businessman. His partner, Lina Maria, she's also behind bars. She's an actor. She's the partner of Sukesh. She's accused of being an accomplice in this extortion case. Then you have Bollywood actor Jacqueline Fernandez, who skipped the ED summons. We just brought you that report as well. She's been questioned earlier by the ED over alleged links to Sukesh twice in the past and has now skipped the fourth ED summons. Then comes Nora Fatehi. She's an actor. She's a dancer. She belongs to Bollywood as well. Nora Fatehi was grilled by ED for more than eight hours on Thursday. The actor also just now issued a statement claiming innocence. Last but not the least, there's a victim of extortion right here. There's a businessman, prominent businessman's wife, who's lost 200 crore rupees by Sukesh and his entire gang. And now this entire link of Jacqueline, who is an actor, and Nora Fatehi, who is an actor, is being probed uh, in terms of what they had to do with Sukesh Chandrasekhar. All right, so all of this is being probed now, but Jacqueline has skipped the ED summons for the fourth 
time and this is the 200 crore rupees Bollywood convent scam that we're tracking at the moment. Munish Pandey will continue to bring our viewers up to speed with the very latest as the ED is going on to prove the link between the convent and Bollywood stars Nora Fatehi and Jacqueline Fernandez.